5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Well, Matt, I already had a sneak peek at our 10-day, and what is going on? <laughs> the sun is just non-existent. Yeah, the, really? it flew south for the winter. That's it. <laughs> of course. No, but uh, <laughs> it, it really has been very cloudy. I think we still have a few more days at least of the clouds and also, of course, the storm that's coming in with all the rain and snow. Right now, we're taking a little break from the rain. Finally, it was kind of an all-day light rain and drizzle across northern areas. That's moved out of here. We're just left with fog and some lingering drizzle. But notice off to the west toward Toronto, we have a couple more showers coming in. And this moisture is concerning. This is ahead of the main storm. The reason it's concerning is because temperatures are starting to fall into the 30s. We even saw a report of 33 there in Malone. So it's falling close to freezing. And with that light rain moving in, a glaze of ice is certainly likely as we head into the day tomorrow. This starts later tonight and lasts throughout the first part of tomorrow, at least for Sunday. So just west of Plattsburgh, anywhere in this pink shading, even parts of I-87 around Scroon Lake could have a little glaze of ice. And it could even be a little heavier toward Messina and Potsdam. You see that darker pink shading. That's where the freezing rain could be prolonged just a little bit more. So don't be surprised to see some slippery walkways tomorrow, some driveways, even some roadways as you're stepping out the door on Sunday. Just wanted to give you a little heads up before the main rain comes in. Now the rain tomorrow is pushed in a little bit earlier than once thought. So by 10, 11 o'clock, it'll already be in here. And here's 2:30. You can see all of the region basically under rain or snow. It starts to change over to snow in the high elevations first, of course. But I still think it's going to take a while in the valleys to really get that change over. There's a lot of mild air to deal with, especially a little bit above the surface. This is 9 p.m. You could see mountains are snowing, valleys are raining by this point. But I think as the precipitation becomes heavier overnight, into Monday morning. That's when we'll start to flip things over to snow in the valley. But it's going to be one of those situations just like we saw last week where it's back and forth between those very heavy wet flakes sticking to everything and changes back to rain. So it's going to be tough to really accumulate a lot of snow unless you're above 1000 feet. Here's Monday. You can see we're drier, but we still have some lingering rain and snow showers and the mountain upslope machine really kicks into gear as we head into Monday night. So here's the updated snow map. If anything, it's trended to just a touch snowier for the valleys. I think we could see a couple of slushy inches. Even the St. Lawrence Valley right now we're thinking close to two inches could be three or four inches if we hold on to the cold air a little bit longer. But remember, in this region, Route 11, there will be that glaze of ice below the snow. So that's going to make things especially treacherous, even if you don't see a ton of snow accumulation. Thicking four to eight for most of Essex County outside of the really high peaks there could be a foot toward Mount Marcy, closer to four inches for Saranac Lake, Lake Placid, closer to four to eight as you head up toward Ellenburg and even Champlain coming in with uh, about four inches of snow. Champlain Valley, just a couple of slushy inches from Plattsburgh into Burlington, Ticonderoga thinking about two to four inches. And that's the case as you head up towards St. Albans as well, two to four inches there. Jay and Newport looking at about eight to 12. It's probably closer to eight in Newport, but remember this is some very heavy wet snow, so power out are possible, especially in parts of the Northeast Kingdom there. 8 to 12 near Island Pond, 4 to 8 near St. Jay. Montpelier coming in with a very slushy, wet 2 to 4 inches. And of course, Stowe a little bit snowier there as you head up in some elevation, four to eight for Stowe. Thinking that Southern Vermont sees a little bit less snow, but it's still a solid four to eight inches near Killington and Okemo, about two to four inches as you head south toward Mount Snow. Even think travel gets a little rough along I-91 toward Brattleboro up through Springfield with a dusting to two there, and then two to four inches toward the Lebanon area. So this is a very elevation dependent storm. Just keep that in mind. If you're above a thousand feet, it's an all out snowstorm. Storm. Lower valleys back and forth between rain and snow. So once it wraps up on Monday, there could be some lingering flurries on Tuesday. Otherwise, it's drier and cold for the remainder of the week with highs struggling into the 20s.